I tried to show him. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. I'm Kenneth with Emerging Black Studios, and I'm here with DJ Larry Love, Sorry. the Love Doctor, the Love Sorry. Control, the Love Power, everything, and all that. <laughs> Go ahead and that up. So, <laughs> Larry, tell us about R&B and Hookah. Uh, so, R&B and Hookah was created by Black Keller, uh, better known as Lily. Um, she created it to give uh, artists in the city who are more of the R&B influence to give them a platform. So. Uh, we've been talking about working together for a while. That's kind of, as a culture creator here in Jacksonville, that's my niche as a DJ, um, R&B. So I make, reached out and asked if I could be a part. And you know what I'm so now I'm a partner in an actual event. So um, the event for, on me, for me, um, it's kind of like a, a vision type thing. My, my goal is to bring, I would say like B-list artists. Um, obviously, I don't want to bring Trey Song and Chris Brown, but I would love to bring like an Eric Bellinger or Travis Garland, if y'all know who those guys are. Um, to Jacksonville on a smaller level. So um, this is kind of, for me, this is kind of the start to that, to give local artists um, a platform, as well as give DJs uh, an R&B um, let out outlets. Okay. Yeah. So you still got some heavy hitters com coming to perform tonight as yes. well. So what should the people expect from R&B and Hookah? So we have, this one's a little different. We have a rapper, um, and then we have two singers. Um, the rapper, he'll be doing some original pieces. Um, both of the artists, will, uh, singers, will be doing original pieces as well, but they'll be doing some covers, um, funk it up a little bit. So, uh, to get get the people engaged, man, they gotta do, they're going to do stuff uh, that people can relate to. So it's just gonna be a night of R&B, bro, like a, a old to to the greats, for real. So, okay. so you're one of the founding members of the Wave, right? Yes. So what's next for the Wave? So um, to kind of clarify, so the Wave started in D.C. I didn't start the D.C. The main one. Um, they started in D.C. and they started branching out. Um, one of my homies, Anthony Small, shout out to him. Uh, he came down to Jacksonville, his mother was sick, and kind of just here for a little while. He wanted to start a chapter in Jacksonville. I had just met him, and I told him, man, whatever you need me to do. So we started in April 2017. Um, it is now November 2018. We have about 500 Jacksonville members. Um, and for us, it's the whole purpose of us, especially in Jacksonville, is to get young millennials, uh, young professionals together. Because in Jacksonville, we don't really have an outlet for it, for ourselves. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I'll say like the ratchet crowd, and then it's the super upscale crowd. There's really nobody touching the middle. Um, so that's that's kind of where we come in. We, it's more of a community than just like, hey, come to our event, all right, bye. Um, we, we keep in contact with each other. We, we do small groups, if you will. Um, we help the community, we feed the community, we, we attack by uh, touching the youth, you know, you know what I'm saying? So um, for us next, man, 2018, we're gonna start, uh, 2019, so we're gonna start implementing some of the things that they're doing up in DC. Um, they have like, some of the things we're already talking about doing, but doing it, I guess, more under their co-sign. So uh, they do one thing, it's called, it's basically they do bad lunch, it's called Lunch Bag Social. So okay. they kind of hang out, it's like a kickback, but okay. the whole time they're prepping meals for the homeless. And they don't just go out and give it, like they're, we're, we're sitting out, we're talking with people, you know what I'm saying, trying to find out their story and see how we can help or relate, or, you know what I'm saying, so that's, yeah, that's that's kind of the vision for 2019 when it comes to the way Jack. Okay, so what's yeah. the next event that you have going on? Oh man. Uh, so it's, it's Christmas time, man. So we got, we're partnering with Jack's Urban Trendsetters and the Influence Crew. We have an Ugly Sweater event coming up December 15th. Where at? Um, it is going to be, I'm going to say to be determined, but we pretty much have a location. It's going to be the spot we always use called, for the move. It's called uh, called the Backyard. It's downtown by the state. Okay. Um, and then we have, <laughs> I'm keeping that one under wraps, but we got something coming Christmas Eve. I'm going to just say that. Me and my partner Nate and probably DJ LP, we got something coming. Okay. Uh, LP's good people. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. one guy. And then uh, New Year's Eve, man, we just actually were dropping that in the morning, um, but we just kind of released the leak a little bit. We got a New Year's Eve party coming. It's going to be at Cuba Libre, um, and that's with Party Legion, the Influence Crew. Um, so, yeah, be, definitely be on the lookout for that. New Year's is always crazy for us, man. Okay. Extremely crazy. All right. Yeah. All right. So where can people find out more about DJ Larry Love and different events that you have going on and more about the way? So uh, to follow me, you can follow me on Instagram. It's at I am DJ Larry Love. Uh, if you're on Facebook, it's Larry Larry Wakefield, or you can actually look up DJ Larry Love. My uh, fan page will come up. And then um, for The Wave, The Wave USA is on Instagram. Instagram is the best way to keep in contact with The Wave. But if you actually want to be a part of The Wave, reach out to me on Instagram or Facebook, and I can add you. It's, the Wave is actually ran through a group, which is why it's more communal. It's, it's kind of weird, because we're kind of off of Facebook. No, but no, no, you know what I'm saying? Like, we get it. I get we it. talk. We get to talk uh -huh. every day with each other. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So we, we get to talk about everything that's going on in the community. If, if Trump does something, tweet something, we're talking about it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? If, if Cardi B does something and we're interested in it, we'll talk about it. You know, So it cr creates that community. So. Okay. Yeah.
Yes, Ladies on me, here you have it. DJ Larry Love, and this is Kenneth from EB Studio signing out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here you have it, DJ De Dr. Larry Love. So I'm going to edit it up. Am I good right here? I turn. Um, you turn a little bit. Yep, there we go. But this is, I want to make sure that camera A is really good. So V, <laughs> I don't really care about as long as we get a good body, but do we look good? Close Your head cut off. Hold on. My head cut off? Nah, his was. His mine? No, you good. Good. Go stand back. Stand back. Just bro. use stand this one up. I got, I got this, bro. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. Oh, look at that. I'm here with that. God yeah. damn, bro. Oh, come on. It's, it's a job. Fine. Bro, so just right here, right here. Bro, I don't, I got it, bro. Okay, got, you got it. it. We yes. got. Okay, I trust. Yeah, damn, you. bro. I'm about to tase your ass, bro. Yeah, I'm about to tase your ass. Okay, don't tase me, bro. And it's not. I can fix it in editing. Can you okay. scoot over just a little bit? Just a little bit. All right, good. There we go. You want me to kiss him? Cause I feel nah, like we're mad close. close. We're nah, mad bro. close right now. No, y'all not. Bro. You sure? Hey, <laughs> touch. All right, you sure? <laughs> just a little close. We just a little close. close. You sure? Yeah, bro. Pull up and back that up just a tad bit. Nah, then y'all gonna be out of shot. Okay, cool. And DJ Doctor, wait, wait, wait. DJ Doctor Larry Love. Nah. Say, DJ Larry Love. DJ Larry Love. The okay. Love Doctor. The Love Doctor. Okay. All right, so.